Have you or a loved one suffered an injury while at a Walmart, Best Buy, Ikea, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, Sam's Club, Costco, or any large or big box retail store anywhere in the United States, Washington, D.C., or Puerto Rico? Have you suffered an injury at a smaller local or regional retail store, gas station, supermarket, or restaurant? If so, you may be entitled to benefits and financial compensation according to your state's personal injury statutes. Our nationwide team of big box store accident lawyers are here to help you. In addition to handling injury lawsuits against large retail chains, our premises liability attorneys also handle cases involving local and independently owned stores as they have the same obligation to maintain hazard-free property. Our slip and fall attorneys provide free consultations and charge no fees if they do not recover compensation for you. Large national retail chain stores like Target, Ikea, Costco and others have huge budgets and expert lawyers ready to defend them against any premises liability lawsuits that may occur. They will protect themselves from the very beginning and you should do the same by retaining an experienced personal injury attorney who has experience handling injury cases accident lawsuits, and workers' compensation claims against large corporations like Walmart, Costco, Best Buy, and others. Our IKEA injury lawyers serve those injured at big box stores throughout the entire country, including Maryland, Delaware, Washington, D.C., North Carolina, New Jersey, Nevada, Puerto Rico, Texas, Pennsylvania, New York, Illinois, Florida, and California. While every slip and fall accident in a store has unique circumstances, there are some common causes of slip and fall injuries that may indicate the big business is at fault. Wet, slippery, broken or uneven floors and flooring. Broken shelving. Dangerous items hanging from shelves or ceilings. Loose or unsecured rugs or carpeting. Ice buildup in parking lots or near the store entrance. And car and pedestrian accidents. Most accidents are caused by one of these factors or some variation of them. If you have suffered a slip and fall in a store, be sure to note the cause and gather evidence supporting your claim right away. And then immediately contact our Dallas, Texas retail store accident lawyers for a free consultation. They charge no fees unless they recover for you. Every business has a legal responsibility to its customers to keep them safe from injuries and they are financially liable when safety standards are not met and customers are harmed. If you are injured in a slip and fall accident at a big box store in Pennsylvania, California, Ohio, or any state in the country, the store may be liable for the injuries that you suffer. The legal responsibility to keep customers safe does not mean that slip and falls at Walmart or other big box stores will always result in a successful injury claim. Large businesses are well prepared with experienced attorneys who are well versed when it comes to denying and defending lawsuits. If you have been injured in a premises liability accident at a large grocery store, you should consider consulting with our team of experienced Chicago, Illinois target accident lawyers before taking any insurance money or legal action. In any slip and fall claim, the injured party must be able to demonstrate the defendant was at fault for the injuries suffered by proving the accident was caused by a hazardous condition that the store should have been aware of. The decisions about whether or not the condition that caused the slip and fall accident is considered hazardous and whether the store should have known can vary due to factors beyond your control. However, you can help yourself by quickly gathering evidence. After your slip and fall accident in any store, it is a good idea to record everything that happened immediately while it is fresh in your mind. Take photos of the area. Note and take photos of warning signs, conditions of the floor, conditions of the products or aisles near you, and any other factor that contributed to the slip and fall. Get the names and contact information of witnesses to the incident. Take the names of every store employee who spoke to you. Write down the facts as soon as you have an opportunity to do so. Be aware that representatives and employees from the store will not help you with this. It's up to you and you need to take matters into your own hands when gathering the evidence necessary to prove the business was at fault for your slip and fall accident. Once you retain our Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Costco injury lawyers, they will take over the fact and evidence finding for your claim. 
a large store such as Walmart, Target, or Home Depot can be legally responsible for a slip and fall injury that occurs in the parking lot, just as it can be responsible for any accident in the interior of the store. As with any claim, you will need to prove the business was negligent by demonstrating that the injury was caused by a hazardous condition the store knew or should have known about. For example, if you slip and fall on a patch of ice outside of a Walmart, your ability to recover injury damages will depend on whether or not store employees knew about the ice or should have known about it, given the weather and the conditions where customers are likely to walk. If the injury occurred first thing in the morning, before store employees had a reasonable opportunity to prevent the accident, then the store may not be liable. If the accident happened after several customers had complained or noted the presence of ice, then the store faces legal responsibility for the injuries. Liability for slip and fall accidents in a parking lot depends on the same legal factors as accidents that occur in the store. The only change is the factual circumstances that drive the conclusion. Not all accidents occurring in large retail stores happen in the aisles or in the parking lot. Bathrooms and restrooms are also a very common place for accidents to occur. These accidents can result in serious, life-altering injuries to the victim. These accidents are almost always caused by slippery or wet floors. Many times, these areas do not have adequate signage warning patrons of the hazardous conditions. That, coupled with the fact that people may tend to walk at a faster pace when they have to use the restroom, makes for a very hazardous situation. Everything you say and do after a slip and fall injury at a large business can influence the settlement you receive. Avoid any contact with anyone regarding the injury, including family or friends, and especially insurance adjusters or store employees, until you have consulted with our Illinois Big Box Store Accident Lawyers. Immediately after the accident, you may be required to fill out a slip and fall report form or contact a claims department within the store in order to officially put the business on notice that the incident occurred. If you must file notice of the accident immediately, avoid saying things like, I'm okay, or I feel fine. Statements like these could jeopardize your claim and make it more difficult or even impossible for you to obtain benefits and compensation, regardless of how badly you are injured. Please only give the facts surrounding the accident, as that is more than sufficient. Also, you are free to request time to contact our New York, New York Big Box Store accident lawyers before taking further action. In the unfortunate event of an accident involving a vehicle belonging to any large store, you may be entitled to various benefits depending on the circumstances surrounding the accident, the extent of your injuries, the type of vehicle that hit you, and who caused the accident. There can be a single party at fault or multiple at-fault parties. Some of the numerous benefits you can potentially be eligible for are vehicle repair costs, medical bills, lost wages, and pain and suffering. Vehicle repair costs are a common benefit a Walmart accident victim may qualify for because even if you are not injured in the crash, there is typically vehicle damage as a result of the accident. Following the crash, your vehicle will be deemed either repairable or totaled. If your vehicle is repairable, the insurance company and auto body repair shop agree to a price and they pay you that amount. This amount is calculated in a pre-accident condition and you may be responsible for your deductible. In some cases, you may be able to recover your deductible later on. If you purchased rental car coverage or reimbursement, you may be able to get a rental car while total loss negotiations are taking place. The insurance carrier or insurance company that insures the vehicle that hit you will pay your medical bills. This is true if you were driving the vehicle that was hit or if you are a passenger in the vehicle. The liable party is responsible for past, current, and future expenses, benefits, and compensations. Medical expenses can include treatment devices, medication costs, doctor visit costs, hospital and inpatient stay costs, dental work as a result of the accident, chiropractic costs, surgical costs, anesthesia costs, x-rays, ambulance transport expenses, and nursing home or home health aid costs. In some cases, injuries may require long-term care. Working with our skilled Dallas Big Box Store accident lawyers will accurately determine your future medical expenses and negotiate on your behalf so that all future medical expenses are compensated for.
In the event someone was killed in the accident, the family of the deceased may be entitled to medical bills prior to death. Lost wages due to motor vehicle accident injuries are compensable under law in the state you were injured in. In all states, pain and suffering compensation encompasses any physical, mental, emotional, and psychological repercussions as a result of the accident. If your injuries are serious enough, you may experience a diminished quality of life. Under personal injury laws in the state you were injured in, you can seek compensation through your own insurance company if the driver that hit you is uninsured. Pain and suffering damages are extremely difficult to establish monetarily. Without the aid of an experienced Minnesota Walmart accident lawyer working on your behalf. If a loved one was killed in the accident, Wrongful death allows for the family and dependents of the deceased person to file claims for funeral expenses, loss of future wages benefits, loss of companionship benefits, and loss of parental guidance benefits. As it is very complex to calculate these benefits, it makes sense to hire our skilled and experienced Los Angeles, California large store accident lawyers. They may be your most valuable resource in getting you properly compensated following the accident. As you may know, social networking websites such as Facebook, Google+, and Twitter are used by millions of people on a daily basis to discuss a variety of topics. As information continues to be exchanged between parties on social networks, more personal data is wrongfully obtained by cunning private parties. In particular, there has been a steady increase in insurance companies using social networking websites to gather information about parties involved in personal injury legal disputes. Thus, it is important for personal injury claimants to guard their online conversations. Here are three important things you should never disclose on social media networks regarding your personal injury cause of action. Insurance companies and personal injury defense attorneys are using social media sites as sources of evidence to denounce a plaintiff's cause of action. Such entities have been known to create fake social accounts to spy on plaintiffs in order to obtain evidence about their alleged injury and use it against them. This is why you should never discuss your personal injury claim on social media networks. This may sound like a no-brainer, but it is not uncommon for personal injury plaintiffs to disclose information about their injury to their friends. You should be on alert for anyone who tries to obtain information from you regarding your injury on social networks. It could very easily be the defense counsel scheming to obtain information from you in order to discredit your cause of action. In addition to not disclosing information about your personal injury claim, you should never release information about physical activities you may be participating in on your social networks. Discussing such information may be used against you to weaken your claim. For instance, say you incurred a leg injury as a result of a negligent act of another. As a result of the injury, you file a personal injury claim stating that you want monetary damages. The damages you seek include lost wages due to the fact that you are unable to work. You then go and post on your social networks that you're going on a family vacation to a water park. Defense counsel may obtain this information and use it against you to reduce the value of your claim. This is why it is so important not to mention any type of physical activity on social networks. If you doubt, whether or not you should post specific information on your social networks during your personal injury proceeding, do not do it. Further, you should not disclose information on your social networks even after the conclusion of your personal injury claim. The opposing party may file an appeal and use evidence from your social network against you. If you would like more information regarding social media use and personal injury lawsuits, please contact our team of El Paso, Texas Big Box Store Accident Lawyers. Big Box Stores such as Best Buy, Ikea, Lowe's, Home Depot, Target, and Walmart are experienced at defending accident, injury, and workers' comp lawsuits and have been known to take an aggressive stance in proving the store is not at fault. Large stores with large budgets and attorneys on retainer are especially notorious for defending slip-and-fall lawsuits in court, and they rigorously fight slip-and-fall liability accusations. This does not mean that Walmart or other large stores fight dirty or bend legal rules. 
It simply means that they are well prepared and well practiced at defending slip and fall lawsuits. This is no cause for alarm, however, as our team of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania large store accident lawyers have won dozens of cases against Walmart, Costco, Target, and others. With the possibility of an aggressive defense to your lawsuit a likelihood, you are well served by consulting with an experienced slip and fall attorney before taking any legal action. Our Jacksonville, Florida big box store lawyers offer free consultations and work on a contingency fee, meaning they do not get paid unless you win a judgment, receive a settlement, or a verdict is awarded. Please do not hesitate to contact our team of Charlotte, North Carolina big box accident lawyers to discuss your case. Despite how big some of these stores are as corporations, they still have an obligation to maintain safe property conditions. If they do not, and you suffer an injury, you may be entitled to benefits and financial compensation. Let our Atlanta, Georgia big box store premises liability attorneys get you the benefits and compensation you deserve. No matter what state you are injured in, our team of big box store accident lawyers can help as they serve all 50 states, Puerto Rico, and Washington, D.C.